we're gonna doing this landscape painting of the early mornings step by step. For our member of enjoyingart.com, I'm looking forward to seeing you in our fun and relaxing Friday painting together. If this is your first time to our channel, it's all about making art easy with relaxation. Push like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. First, let me tell you the brushes that I'm using. I only use two brushes. One is a fry brush, it's gold here. Okay. Take care of the brush, just use the two fingers, right? Just softly massage it every time before you start using it. Okay. Now, the hair very soft, also remove all the bubble, all the air inside the brush here. Now the brush is ready to use. That's very sharp over here, very organized. And this is the calligraphy brush. The calligraphy brush can use for medium and small shapes. And the tip is very sharp, so it's very easy to control. First thing we're gonna do to cover the whole background from the top to the bottom. So I'm gonna start with my one inch fry brush, Windsor blue, green shade. I'm gonna take lots of this color. I'm gonna add enough water. So I'm gonna start from right from the top over there. It's the color really, really bright. But after it dries, it would be, um, get a little bit less. So I'm gonna start from the top over here, all the way coming down, get a little bit more of this blue color, making sure you have the color um, make it a little bit more even. Okay, here you go. You don't want to have the whole thick color put it on, on the paper. Okay. Now, the color is going to start making, uh, start changing and coming down to the middle over here. Coming down a little bit. I'm going to add the color. On this side can be a little bit lower. Now, coming a little bit closer on this side. Now I'm gonna start add a little yellow color and the red color. I'm gonna take some yellow color. If just the yellow color, it would make it look like uh, a green color. So I'm gonna have to use a little bit red color to get it. Okay, I'm gonna have a little red color to it. A little bit more red. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna have this color, Ooh, still a lot of, lots of green. It's gonna get a little bit more red. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna have this color connect it. A little bit more red, connect it over here. That's the transition color, like that. And now start going down to uh, the orange color. So I'm going to get a little bit more yellow color uh, with the red color, right? So I'm going to get a little bit of this coming closer and on this side, especially coming over here like that. And now when you get closer, the color will be brighter. Now I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to clean the mixing area. I'm gonna have some really clean space. You don't need lots of space for that. It's just a little bit clean space. So I'm gonna get the yellow color first. Okay, look at that, this is the sun. So I'm gonna ping around this area. Just leave it like that. There's a little bit, that's the sun. Right, now quickly, I'm gonna take the red color. So really fresh red color. I'm gonna put it right over there and get some little bit yellow color. Okay, now put it around this space. A little bit more red. Here you go, like this, here you go. Now that will start spreading. I would use a little bit more yellow. Can okay, I make a little bit more like orange color? There you go. So this color one can 
gradually spreading into the surrounding. You see that? It's very good. I'm going to get a little bit more red at the bottom over here, like that. So this color can continue going down over, just ignore the color in uh, the background. So screen your eyes, it looks like a little bit purplish color because it have a little red and a little blue color. So have a little bit of this light color coming down. And then on the ground, we're going to start have a little bit more red color, right? Okay. Just ignore other spaces, other colors. Just have a little bit warm color like that. And then with it closer over here, I'm going to have a little bit more orange color, a little bit more red into it. Now here you go. I'm going to have this color, a little bit more red. Here you go. A little bit more red over here. Here you go. Like that, really light. Okay, now get closer and closer. I'm gonna have a little bit more red with a little bit uh, brown color. So I'm gonna have a little bit blue on this side too, like that. Now this is the first run. Now the whole paper or the drive, I'm going to wet the space in the sky. Just use the water. Because now the pins are already stable, so it's okay to come back to do some uh, adjustment. So I'm going to come in down a little bit lower over here. Like that. If you want to start lifting some color, just use the this large brush. Just soften it, loosen it. Okay. And the shape over here, you can use the corner of this brush. See that? It's already easily. They're making it softer, okay? You don't have to make it too soft. It's okay, like that. Here you go. That's good. Now I'm gonna use the blue color, start from the top. Okay. Here you go. Now I'm gonna start from the top over here again. So whatever the texture that you already have from the la from the last from the first time that you're doing it, you can always come back to adjust the texture. That's okay. Now I'm going to use a little bit red color. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna come over here and make it a little transition. Have a little bit red color in the middle. Here you go, like that is nicer transition. So there's too much. Uh, so I'm gonna lift it up and make the change. Let's see. So I'm gonna come here and like that. And then there's too much green over here. So I have to have a little red color. Okay, a little bit more red color. Here you go. Now it neutralized. And now come to the side over here. And I'm going to use a little bit orange color. Hey, right. have a little bit red. Here you go, a little bit more red. Mix the color well. So I'm going to have that. Put it here like that. And this color may be a little bit too. Uh. uh I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter, but we mix. It makes a little brighter orange color. So in that case, it's just gonna put a little yellow color here. Just put the yellow color over here. There you go, like that. And a little. Just mix the color right on the paper. I'm going to have the yellow color right here. And then I'm going to put a little red color, a little bit. And then put it on so the color will be brighter, mixed directly on the paper. Like 
that. And then when it get closer and get more yellow color. So I'm going to get more yellow color. Just take the yellow color from here. Here you go. Another color. A little bit brighter. Now come closer to the sun. And now on this side. And need to have a little bit more red. So put the red color in here. And closer to the sun over here, I'm going to have a little bit more yellow color. Just use the corner of the brush. Just put the yellow color there. Like that. Now I'll take a look at the bottom over here. I'm going to have a little bit more red in this area. I'm going to um, strengthen the red color over here. Get a little bit closer and have a little bit lighter and in fact I'm gonna have a little yellow color in the middle over here just a little really with the color affecting to the ground and here I have a little bit red color like that a little bit more red just a little bit you can create a better impression now I'm going to come back to the middle of the sun. I'm going to just use the clean brush. I'm going to lift it up a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. This brush is not lots of water. I'm going to just remove the color in between, in, in, in the center. I'm going to try to create a sun rays effect. Start from the location of the sun. I'm going to come in up like this, okay, and then do it one more, going from the, the directions of the, the location of the sun. Now I'm going to come to on this side, you don't want to make it all kind of connected, you have a little bit space emptied. Start from the location, the direction of the sun right i'm gonna do a little bit and when you only use the half of the brush okay a little bit like that that's good let's start painting the background i'm gonna use the click v brush i see that little purple color over here just just tap a little color over here i'm gonna take a look at the location of that it will be right here I'm going to start putting a little color and it's still a little bit wet over here. That's fine. And just add a little shape, like a look like little tree and a little bit purple color. Continue on this side. Okay. And the color get a little bit more and more contrast. Okay. A lot of suggestions it will give the illusion is that's good. I'm going to have a little bit purple. So I'm going to get a little bit red mixed with the uh, Windsor blue red shade. So I'm going to get that a little bit more, look like a more purple. Okay. I'm going to put over here a little bit mountain like that. Okay. I'm going to give a little bit details. And in here, we're going to have a little bit red, just the red color. That looks like that's the areas that are facing to the sun. So appear to be a little bit red. That, that should be fine. So this, and the monk, in a, that's really far, far distance, I have a little mountain. So I'm going to get a little bit red color, just a little red. Like that, and it's a very soft, and here you go. There's a little mountain in the sky. It's very, very far away. That's fine. I'm going to have a little bit orange color over here too, showing that there's something over here. Could be the cloud, could be the distant mountain. That. 
Okay, at closer over here, it seems like a little bit more of the uh, Windsor blue uh, red shade. I'm gonna have a little bit of this, a little bit blue color at the bottom. Okay, that's good. Now we can start coming into uh, around over here in the foreground. So I'm gonna actually have the orange color mix a lot of red and the uh, yellow color. Okay, now I have this. I'm gonna start painting into this space. There's a part of the trees around here. Okay. I'm gonna just give a little bit soft line, a little bit line like that. Okay, add a little bit details. Now from here, I start glowing into the little purplish colors. So I'm gonna take that little, this blue color with the red, here you go. Now I'm going to connect that color. Now here you go. Now coming over here, see that? This color, connect that together on this side, a little purple in this color. Like that. Hey, right, that's good. I'm going to have a little bit orange color. I blend it, blend it in. To here. Okay, like that. All right, that's good. Now underneath has a little gray color. So let's take the blue color and with a little red and a little bit more red, like that. We can start put the color in the as the catch the shadow. See that? This all the way. So the color can be a little bit more blue. You have the little blue over here at the edge. It looks like a little green now. So I'm going to let go of that. Make a little lighter. We can come back to fix that a little bit later. Okay. Now on the tree over here on this side, I'm going to take this gray color. I'm going to take a look here. I can ping that, just use this really easy to control. There are all the details here. Okay, somehow a little dry brush, it will help. I'm going to take a little bit more color, a little bit more of the gray color like that. Okay, there you go, and those are coming up, there you go, like that, All right, so inside of that, in here, we're going to see a little bit more detail, a little bit separation, but that it will be later, now, we don't have to do everything at this point. So now I'm going to use a little bit, uh, those a little purple gray color over here. And as is the catch the shadow of the tree in the distance. Look at that. This is the sun and the catch the shadow is, is at the pointing to the sun. Like the sun over here, so they catch the shadow on this side. I'm going to take a look at the blue color, a little blue color on here. So I'm going to start, keep looking at where's the sun, and then the catch the shadow is just the, coming from the sun, like that. On this side, it's the same.
Okay, on here. Have a little bit of that. So this is good. This is the distance. Try to keep the catch the shadow a little bit flat. And okay, let go of the on the edge a little bit too. Um, that's good. All right, we can come back to the distance to so make a little bit more adjustment. That's fine. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna ping this to you a little bit later. Connect that up over here. Um, take a look at the the location of the trees. So I'm gonna first mix a little bit warm gray color. A little bit this is a little bit warmer. And now what I want to see the that is the one the, the one tree over here like that coming down right and coming over here that is the location at the bottom so the tree coming like this and it, it's gonna melt so i'm gonna just tap on it a little bit low knowing the location that's good enough like okay, over here that's good enough so another tree coming over here this is still wet, so we'll come back to do that a little bit later. Now take a look at that. There's one tree on this side. I definitely want to have that from here coming up. Uh, right over here, coming up like this. Right, coming up. So that's the location. I'll come back to do that a little bit later. Why not just uh, try to showing it the location of those tree trunks so we can locate the uh, catch the shadows so take a look at that this two another tree and this one over here and then this one in the middle like that here you go come together okay now we can see a little bit clear the catch the shadow will be in this location so we're gonna find that um, we're gonna just use the uh, blue color so I really like the blue color showing the Sun over here so the Sun shining on the ground right now here you go like over here and coming on this side and coming all the way here here you go now bigger and bigger like that and a little bit more shape over here. And here you go, all the line over here. So in order to have a beautiful blue color, uh, we need to lift up some of the orange color. So now I'm gonna use the one inch fry brush. Now here you go. Now I'm gonna start, start lifting, okay, like this. After I lift up the colors, and I'll be able to put the uh, fresh color, fresh blue color, much better. Okay, that's one. The other way to do it is I have a little opaque blue color. You put it on, it will also remain because that opaque blue color would definitely is not going to let the color underneath show through. And I'm gonna put a little color over here. That's also a little blue color over here. Just take the water and almost a full load of water. You go. You don't want to put the blue colors when it's still wet. In that case, the blue color would all the way uh, get into uh, the surrounding because it's all wet. Okay, 
give a, a little bit blue shape from here like that I think that's just pretty good now at this point we can come back to take a little uh, gray color a little bit darker get a little blue and mix with the uh, red color right so I'm gonna mix a little bit darker color here you go I can have a little some of the a little um, shadow just have a little bit distorted like that and a little bit like this over here a little bit shape like that and on the front over here we definitely need some uh, texture I'm gonna use the click if brush and try to see we can create some dry brush like this see that this can be some representation of the shadow yeah a little bit over here too and and the underneath is we can keep up a, a little just mix the blue color and the red color together Here you go like that little bit over here now the color is getting dry over there so because of the distance uh, a little bit away from us the color appear to be less bright so this is okay just get just the gray color put it over here yeah okay. I'm gonna start from here this is the footer of the uh, tree I'm gonna start over here see that like this it's very blue and I'm gonna come okay the color is supposed to be very consistent okay coming over here now here you go like that that's one color All right another color and I'm gonna put it over here beautiful catch the shadow I'm gonna keep going and a little bit over here okay keep going with the okay over here I have a little bit more blue there you go a little bit spread a little bit I'm just going to take the blue color and have it open a little bit like that and let it spread a little bit even a little bit more a little bit more blue color and I'm going to make it even a little bit brighter like that you can see a difference between the area that we live and the areas not did not live and it the color look different okay so we're going to have a nice catch the shadow with blue color okay and also come back over here also add a little blue color in this area if I want okay but now it's a little bit more green, so I'm going to change that a little bit um, red shade blue color. But that is too dark. I'm going to soften that a little bit. I'll come back to put the color to it a little bit later. I'll work on it a little bit later. So shall we actually start painting into this next to the sun, the tree over here? Um, if you can stop a little bit, uh, take a look. I'm going to get the orange color. I see that not lots of water, just enough water because that 
The detail is a little bit small, so I'm going to have this actually coming up a little bit on the tree over here on this side. And I'm going to start, okay, soften that a little bit like that. And I have a little tree, you can see that, a little tree. And some of the tree is the, just the orange color. And right about the sun, okay, like that. I'm going to have this orange color. Here you go. Now, based on here, now the orange color start changing into the red color. Now I'm going to start adding the red color next to it. Okay, take just the red color. You see that? And the color start gradually merge into the orange color. Now I'm going to change that to a little bit more brown color, uh, orange brown color. Here you go. Connect that color in because it's wet into wet. Okay. Screen your eyes so you can see things, how they connected together. Okay, up over here, I also have the brown color connect to it. Now, that kind of merge together become the shape of the tree. There you go, that's the tree. This one, I'm gonna make the brown color have the red with the blue, have a little yellow. I right? have the blue with the little yellow. There you go. Now, start over here. Go right here. Let's see, there's the tree trunk coming down like this. Here you go. One. Right. And the other one, I'm going to have a little bit smaller. Okay, that's good. Now something I want to want you to pay attention to, when you do the tree, uh, you can use uh, the side brush. Uh, you guys ready? Look at me. I'm going to open it up like this, get a little blue color and the top have a little bit more blue or it's a little bit away from the sun. Right, ready? Okay, now I'm going to have it open it up like this. See that? Take a look of your brush. I'm going to have it like this. A different, a little, make a little bit different directions like this. And I'm going to start having a little dry brush like this. I still keep a little gap in between, okay? You don't want to have the gap all close up like that. Here you go. And the top over here is going to have a little bit more red color. So make sure you have different directions. And you're going to have a little bit like that. Now it will look like a tree and and coming on this side, I'm going to have a little bit, like it's just, I'm going to make it even more dry like that. So open it up. Ready? It's just really have a little bit dry, a little more dry like that. There you go. The bottom over here, have a little wet. But when you have a little wet, and we're going to add a little bit, uh, those uh, red orange color to it. It will look like have a different light. And over here, I'm going to have a little color over here. And then now on the other side, I'm going to add a little red color. So I'm just have a little red color over here. I'm just touching on it. And the red color would 
blue into okay melt into the existing color like that. You see that with a little red color on the edge looks very very beautiful. Like on here on the bottom over here has that little red color here too. Um, so those are, so are the thin, the thin are so you can see through the color of the sun. I'm gonna just take the red color, lower the red color over here. Okay, like that. Okay, so that I'm going to have a little bit darker color on the top. So I'm gonna take the blue color. Take the red color, here you go. A little bit darker, a little bit more blue. So here you go. Now I'm gonna put the the darker color on the top over here. A little bit over here too, like that. A little bit, I saw the little branches, a little bit darker too. Uh, look and draw and don't draw too quick. Okay, a little bit over here. All right. So now this tree looks pretty good. And at the bottom over here, I'm gonna have a little bit red orange color. Maybe have a little line over here too, like that. So this color is more like an orange color, but an orange brown color closer to the sun because the heat of the sun is showing a little bit um a little bit warmer a little bit brighter that's good All right that's just one tree and now we can do the other trees right so what we're gonna do we're gonna make some really dark color and the color away from the sun is just less red and just a little bit darker color okay but this one i'm gonna have from the top over here it's a little smaller and like that here you go like this here you go coming down a little bit bigger a little bit bigger draw slowly like that and another one over here. After you draw the tree trunk, and the rest will become much easier. Okay, like that. Here you go. Slowly, okay, be patient. Okay, now join together. That's one, and here you go, some small branches need to be smaller, thinner. That. Okay, good. Okay, now draw this one. I'll draw this one first. I'm gonna be, okay, here you go. Now coming together. Now coming down. Here you go. Open up a little bit. Like that. A lot of small uh, branches. Here you go. A little bit more. Like that. Okay. Uh, we probably want to simplify that. I'm not sure we want to draw all the trees. Okay, let's see. From here coming up, and you go over here. Observe, don't just draw without uh, looking because it may be hey, you have something to make it look more uh, interesting. Okay, a little smaller, a little bit bigger, like that. And let's do this one too. A little bit away, 
okay like it right here I'm gonna add a little bit of red color too much blue okay like that <coughs> slowly and coming down that's good like that connect it at the bottom okay and here you go it's going to take a little while to get a good represent representation of those uh, tree trim or just branches Little the blue color. Okay, that's good. Okay, like that. All right, we're going to um, doing some dry brushes. So now coming here, and I'm gonna just just use. The same color at the at the top as I have a little bit more uh, brown colors. We're gonna get the yellow and a little red, right? So get a little bit more like a brown color. Start from lighter and then go a little bit darker. Let's see how I push my brush down. It's gonna have it open up a little bit and open up even more like that, even more like that. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna start from the top over here like this. A little bit at the top over here now I'm gonna push it down a little bit more I'm gonna use the side brush like this here you go like that a little bit like a little bit disorganized feeling Okay, still have lots of lots of room in between, so you don't want to have uh, close everything up. Okay, have a little bit of room. That's quite a bit of room, like that. So like that, you can have a little bit. Just focus more on the theming. And on the top over here, we're gonna have a little bit more uh, orange red color, orange brown color. A little bit later so I'm gonna put the color over here and the top over here I'm gonna have just add a little bit more orange color like that and the top over here as you go okay like a little bit those red color now here you go like that a little bit just barely touching the paper Like that on the top over here and this is a little bit bigger and we get a little bit water and here you go and I have a little bit over here maybe too much water in the paint okay I'm gonna let go some of the wet just use the uh, tissues now here you go and come back over here 